Okay, so now we're going to talk about the tool table and what differs in the RX compared to the previous models of the Prototrack controls. And like all of the buttons on the left hand side, other than the keyboard and the calculator, it is a flyout window. So you'll notice here when I push the tool table that it's set up into three different sections. The first one is your base tool. So the machine does come with a tool setting device so I can set each one of my tools up for the offsets, whether I want to use the back of the vise or a tool setter itself, or one, two, three block, whatever you prefer. The important thing is that we use the same device in the same spot for every tool so that when we put them into the library, they will be correct when we bring them back out. The second section shows you that it says program tools. And in here you'll see there's two tools in my program. They're both finish end mills of two different sizes. And uh, everything is in there except for the offsets for the tool links. The third section is showing me my tool library. So I currently have five tools in my library. My tools in my library can go anywhere from part number or tool number 101 to 199. And with each of those tools, I'm going to assign a number in the hundreds. And those are used so that if I want to use it in manual mode and call up a tool that already has an offset, I can just say, hey, I'm using tool number one, 101 or 102 or 103 to do this particular work and the offsets will be correct. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is because I've already got tools with my offsets in here, when I pull a program up like this, instead of having to touch those tools off for this particular program, I can simply look at my list here and say, hey, you know what, I've got a half inch end mill right here and say this is going to be tool number one and it puts the offset in there right away, okay? The next thing I would do is I would look here and say, okay, this one, which is 105, is actually going to be tool number two. Now my tools for my program are all set and if for any reason I want to add a tool to the library, you'll notice there's buttons down here to erase one or add one or whatever. So each time that I pull up a new program, if my tools are already set, I just simply transfer them into the program. If they're not, then I would set them up off the same tool set or device that I use for the other tools in the library. And when I'm done, I can add it to the library and next time I won't have to do so. When I'm completed with this, simply tap the button, the flyout window will close, and I'm ready to move on to the next operation. Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat here with some of my best guys from the assembly department reminding you that if you like these videos, don't forget to push the like button. If you want to subscribe so that we have a better idea who's watching us, hit the subscribe button over here. And of course, if you want to see the next video, then slam this one over here. And as always, I hope you enjoy the video. And most importantly, don't forget, keep on tracking.